Engineering systems entail large, complex systems whose performance and function depend both on their technology and on their the socioeconomic context within which they operate. Examples include transportation systems, telecommunication systems, power systems, manufacturing and supply chains, healthcare systems, financial services, and other information intensive services such as retail. Within this pillar, we aspire to educate students to be the future system architects and leaders of engineering systems. Graduates will be prepared to analyze, design, and operate an engineering system with a global perspective and will have extensive guided experiences at doing so in a range of contexts. We view supply chain management as an application track within engineering systems. Students will specialize in one or more application tracks. Some examples of application tracks are transportation systems, manufacturing systems and supply chains, telecommunication systems, healthcare delivery systems, energy transmission and distribution systems, as well as information intensive service systems such as financial services and retail. All students will take a common set of core subjects and methods for the design, analysis, and improvement of engineering systems, as well as subjects on the socioeconomic contexts within which engineering systems operate. Then for each track, we would have subjects that pro would provide the knowledge base necessary to appreciate the specific characteristics and challenges of the engineering system, as well as application-specific projects for experiential learning. Design is paramount to the study of engineering systems. For any engineering system, design decisions determine the capacity of the system and hence determine its performance. For instance, consider a public transportation system. Design entails deciding the nodes for the system, where people can start or end their trips, as well as how the nodes are to be connected. Should there be a bus line, on a particular route or an underground subway? If so, with what frequency? And with what other stops on the route? These are the types of questions that arise in the design of any engineering system. And the Pillars curriculum is designed to prepare our students to address these questions. A key element of the engineering systems curriculum is to understand the contexts within which each engineering system operates. To do this, we will require all students to take a class in economics so as to understand how the system functions in the light of economic markets and other business concerns. We'll require them to take a class in political science so as to appreciate the interplay between an engineering system, say a public transportation system, and the political system within which it resides. And then we'll require a class in organizational science so as to learn about the human element and its influence within engineering systems. We expect the graduates to be very capable problem solvers and system thinkers who can add value to a variety of system contexts. Some possible starting positions are as a system analyst or project leader or industrial en engineer in enterprises that design and operate an engineering system. For instance, a manufacturing or distribution or logistics firm, an energy or telecommunication company, a transportation agency, a municipal authority with responsibility for an infra infrastructure system, or a healthcare organization. In addition, we expect graduates would be well equipped for starting positions with a consulting firm as an associate, uh, with a financial services firm as a financial engineer or a systems engineer, with a manufacturing firm or retailer as a supply chain analyst, or even to, to enter a management training program in an international global company. Students will leave with both a deep understanding of the technological fundamentals that underlie an engineering system, along with a breadth of complementary knowledge of industrial markets, public policy, and the behavior of organizations and people. They will be prepared to analyze, design, and operate an engineering system with a global perspective and will have extensive guided experiences at doing so in a range of contexts.